What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be going over augments that a lot of people are wrong about. So this is going to be overrated and underrated augments. Um, if you guys do enjoy this video, maybe give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what an augment that you think a lot of people are wrong about. So something that you think is super overrated or something that is super underrated. Let's start with Shotgun Striker. This was initially the best augment in the game when it was initially added. I thought it was incredibly broken, but they removed it from the game to fix some bugs with it and they reworked how it works. So when it first came out, you got like a flat amount of HP gained every for every pellet of your shotgun that hit the opponent. Whereas now it seems to be going off a percentage basis, like a percentage of the damage that you do heals back to you. And to prove that, I have a clip here of me using the heavy shotgun. And I kind of let this guy do damage to me just so we can get multiple tags on him and show that I was healing a different amount over the course of this fight. When this augment was initially added, since it went off pellets, the heavy shotgun just got the same amount of healing every single time. It was like three or four, I think, every time because it only shoots one projectile. But now, since it's percentage based, over the course of that fight, I was getting varying amounts of health um, depending on how much damage I did. And it almost seems like the less damage you do, the higher percentage you get. And it's really weird. I don't think this augment is that great anymore. I'll have some stats on screen now of like some of my experience using it. I used it for a while, got some clips of it, and then went back through the footage and saw how much damage I did, how much I gained, and then what percentage of the damage I gained back was. And it works best with the Maven shotgun seemingly. And it also kind of fits the Maven shotgun best because if you're using a sh uh, Thunder shotgun, you're probably going to get one to two good shots during a fight. And then the fight's going to be over because, you know, with the Thunder Shotgun, you shoot them. Hopefully you hit for over 100. You swap to your spray weapon, put out damage with that a little bit, and then swap back to your Thunder Shotgun for the finishing blow. And so you don't really have that much of an opportunity to gain health over the course of a fight, especially if you're opening the fight with your Thunder Shotgun shot, because then you probably haven't taken any damage yet if the, you're the one starting the fight. But with the Maven Shotgun, you're constantly kind of putting out shotgun shots over the course of the fight. And I feel like with the Maven Shotgun, you get in more fights where you're kind of like trading damage with the opponent back and forth. So that healing can actually be somewhat beneficial, you know? If you shoot them for like 50 something and then gain 20 something back, that's a swing of like 70 health. And if you're doing that over and over again over the course of a fight, it definitely does add up. And like the stats I had earlier showed, it seemed like I was getting a higher percentage gain on the Maven shotgun for whatever reason. I don't know if that's just the way the, the perk is designed to work better with the Maven shotgun, or it seems like it kind of heals a higher percentage on lower damage shots. But once you get up to the higher damage, the percentage you gain really isn't that much anymore. And it makes sense because the Maven shotgun just doesn't really hit that hard most of the most of the time. I feel like it's like kind of like an average to like slightly above or slightly below average amount of damage. So the shotgun striker augment is good, but it's not nearly as broken as it once was. And it went from being what I considered the best augment in the game to like a solid augment, but not the best. One interesting thing is that it does still work on wildlife. So if you have this augment and you come across a boar, a wolf a crow, a toad, whatever wildlife, a, a llama, you can heal by shooting that wildlife with your shotgun. So that is an interesting use of this augment. And if you're ever in a situation where you need heals and there's an animal there, you can use that to get back to full health really easily. The next augment we're going to talk about is zero chance. I feel like a lot of people just completely ignore this augment. And this makes it to where you get a zero point dash for a few seconds after you break someone's shield. And this is insanely powerful. The zero point dash effect has been incredibly good ever since it was added to the game. But in the past, you had to consume an item that gave you that effect, like the zero point fish last chapter or the zero point pretzel. And so it was just weird to make work because this effect is really good to have in a fight. But you would have to like eat this prematurely going into the fight and then still have the effect last long enough to be able to use it over the course of the fight. It was just kind of weird to make happen. Whereas this augment, as soon as you crack someone's shield, you can do it. And that's really nice because... You know, if you crack someone's shield, you're in a fight and it could be a fight where you're relatively weak as well, especially in zero build. And so when you get the shield break, you can dash to the side, you can dash behind them, you can dash towards them, whatever you got to do. And that can be like the slight difference maker you need to end up like tipping the scale in that fight, especially if it is a close fight. One of my favorite things to do with this augment is... If I get opening AR tags on somebody, let's just say we break their shield with the AR or we get very close to breaking their shield and then you kind of hammer onto them 
shotgun them from the sky and then you can like zero point dash to either side and then just shotgun them again as you land and it is incredibly awkward for them to deal with because not only are they taking a lot of damage they're getting hammered on they're getting shot from the sky and then the person that just shot them from the sky dashed and like teleported to a completely different side i think this is one of the best augments in the game right now and like i said it's any direction whatever direction you want to go you just press that direction and then you double hit your jump button and you will go you will dash forward backward sideways whatever you need and it does actually work through getting through walls if you time it correctly in build mode so like the moment the wall breaks you dash through and then you can exploit into people's boxes using this augment and it is very good i think zero chance is probably the most underrated augment in the game and especially in team game modes, you'll be getting multiple uses of it over the course of a fight. And I feel like you could just be such a menace to deal with. And the people that use this really well, I feel like are going to be very, very difficult to deal with. The next augment we're going to talk about is going to be Rift Ejector. This auto rifts you when your shield is broken. And I have seen nonstop complaining about this augment with people saying how overpowered and annoying it is. Um... I think the idea of it is super annoying. Like the fact that someone at Epic decided this should be in the game is super lame. But I really don't think it's good at all, especially because there aren't very many rifts in the game right now, which we'll get to later on. So if you break someone's shield, especially in this season, if you're using a red eye, they you need three more shots to kill them probably. Pretty much at any range, the red eye is doing 30-ish damage. As, and there is like a slight delay when their shield breaks to you being able to like still do damage to them before the rift happens like especially if you're like spraying them with something like a pistol or a red eye you can get like an extra shot or two in after breaking their shield and that's going to put them at around like 50 ish hp roughly when they're in the sky so you need two red eye shots to kill them max you need three or four it's really i think as time goes on people are going to get better and better at shooting people out of the sky and then also more and more people are going to know okay someone rifted that means they're really weak because like i said there aren't many rifts in the game right now there's not any natural rifts on this map to my knowledge so the only rifts that happen are when someone's using this augment if a llama has timed out and then created a rift that someone's using and to my knowledge there's only three llamas on the map per game unless you get that one rift effect that spawns several llamas and there might be an npc that sells the ability to open a rift as well so there isn't very much rifting going on in the game right now and the red eye doesn't have that steep of a damage drop off so as soon as someone rifts everybody relatively close to them on the map has the opportunity to just beam them for free and get a free kill and as more and more people are aware of this and more and more people are used to doing this it's just going to be more and more of like a free death for the person that uses it i'll also have a clip on screen here where i actually have two of them where I get in a somewhat bad fight, it's it's a real 50-50. Like, we're just kind of spraying each other. I'm really weak. They're really weak. One of us is probably about to lose the game. But since I broke their shield, they rift. And now this has created a situation where I'm one shot. They're incredibly weak. But they're in the sky and they can't shoot back at me while I can shoot at them. And while you could say, oh, well, yeah, but if they got away, you might have died to them. But I got, like... I don't even know how long it is. Let's just say 10 seconds of free time to potentially get that kill. And I think it's very easy to shoot people out of the sky with this. And if you aren't used to shooting people out of the sky, as you deal with this more and more frequently, I feel like it'll get easier. The easiest thing to do is if you're using a red eye, when it, they, when it pops and they go into the sky, reload your red eye right away because there is like a slight delay to the animation where you can't do anything to them with that initial period of rifting. So you want to have your red eye fully loaded at the time where you actually can do damage to them when they're like midway down to the drop or super high in this guy but yeah I, I think this is incredibly overrated i've also had people bring up team game modes to me and say that in squads it's really good but i, I really don't think that's the case if you're fighting a 4v4 you crack one they rift you can either shoot them out of the sky, but even if you don't want to shoot them out of the sky, you have a 4v3 on the map during that time period. And if, if they're standing close enough to their teammates where multiple of them potentially get rifted, then you might have a free pick on the remaining one to two players anyway. So I think this augment is really, really bad. If you find yourself getting rifted by it as well, I've had people complain about that. Just stop trying to barrel stuff people. Um, I think this is the most overrated augment in the game, and I would really be interested to see the overall stats on like how frequently people just die immediately when using this, because it's very, very infrequent that someone uses this and I don't just shoot them out of the sky, or somebody else doesn't shoot them out of the sky. The next augment we're going to talk about is going to be the Mythic Tactical Pistol, which I'm sure many of you are surprised to hear about it, because I love the Tactical Pistol. 
but this has been getting way too much gas online. People are acting like this is incredibly broken and incredibly overpowered. And I've even had people come to my chat on Twitch and complain that they're losing games because of how overpowered this pistol is and people are killing them with it. It does one extra damage and it has a slightly faster reload than the gold one. It's really not a night and day difference. It goes from gold doing 28 damage to the mythic doing 29. Oftentimes, if you do the math on how much health someone has, that isn't actually going to change the shots to kill. Now, this game is random. You know, people have varying amounts of health, but like on a 250 health opponent, it doesn't change the shots to kill. On a 150 health opponent, I don't think it changes the shots to kill. It's very rare that this is actually going to be the difference maker in a fight. And odds are, if one extra damage on a mythic pistol is the difference maker in a fight there's other mistakes that were made to make like that small degree actually be the difference maker i know you know so i think the mystic mythic pistol is great i'm happy to have it most of the time but to act like this thing is like game breaking or incredibly overpowered it's just getting way too much hype it's good but it's not that big of a deal i would take it but if i already had a, a purple or gold pistol i would probably hold off on it unless there was just like nothing else i wanted from the augments but if it was down between like this and splash medic or this and storm mark or this and forecast and i already had a high rarity pistol i would just much rather have the other augment because that pistol increase in damage really isn't going to be that big of a deal the next augment we're going to be talking about is danger hero this makes it to where you get faster movement speed and regenerate health when your shield is broken so i think this would actually stack pretty good with the rift ejector perk because then you would be regenerating health in the sky but just in general in a fight whenever your shield is broken you're probably going to take some white damage too some normal health damage and this makes it to where that damage is just like immediately gone and you regenerate back to full hp um, and then you're also moving fast and odds are if your shield is broken you're either in a fight or you're trying to get away from a fight. So having that faster movement speed can actually make a really big difference on the outcome of the game. As well as just regenerating health is nice because I like carrying chug splashes as my main healing item. And being able to have your normal health just regenerate. Uh, and then you can use your splashes to get shield back I think is really good. And in build mode it is very annoying dealing with this augment. If you are someone who's good at making boxes and creating space in a fight, and then you're just constantly regenerating health and moving faster every time your shield gets cracked, uh, this, this augment can make it very annoying to deal with someone who seemingly is on like the edge of death constantly. Um, so yeah, I think the danger hero augment is really underrated and it can be the difference maker in a fight. The final arg augment we're going to talk about is Harvester. This is a new augment and I feel like it kind of got ignored last week because of the other augments in that update being really kind of flashy. But what this does is it makes it to where whenever you farm like trees or bushes or any sort of foliage, you can get big bush bombs from it, which is nice. And then you also get uh, vegetables or consumables is what the game calls it or forageables, I guess is what it calls it. But it's like the fruits and the vegetables. And then it also doubles the amount of HP you gain from fruits and vegetables. So the slap juice berries will do 10 health instead of five so one like little bushel of those berries is 40 health that's that's pretty big deal and then also like the corn and the cabbage will do 20 white which is kind of busted because you eat them like very fast and dealing 20 health instantly like that is a pretty big deal um and i i feel like this stacks really well with the bush heal augment so if you have this and bush heal that is two of your augments dedicated to one thing but it makes it to where you can get bushes whenever you want. And then bushes can get you to 150 health whenever you want. Um, it, it's pretty insane. And also in certain zones where there aren't, where there isn't very much cover, having this just to give you bushes can be pretty nice. I could see this being a pretty big deal in zero build competitive modes because you could just get bushes whenever you want. And then you can kind of use your bushes more loosely because you have them infinitely. I don't know how big of a deal it'll be in pubs, but it is interesting. If your team likes all running the bush heal augment and then somebody has this, you guys have bushes whenever you want, you can get to 150 off that and then save heals elsewhere. You don't have to waste your splashes getting up to 150. But that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys found it informative, interesting, helpful, whatever. Remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what augment you think a lot of players in the Fortnite community are wrong about.